time they place all other kinds of food when on the marches through their countries can be a considerable considered a negative proof of the Mexicans in treating the same aversion for swine as the more northern Indian tribes we shall leave it to others to determine so just as the Native Americans okay of um of um the United States and Canada and the Seminole Indians how they detested swine the Mexicans did as well okay proving they're Israelites okay this would be the final final part and then I'll get it about uh, food and what food you can eat in the sea or what not it says D D T T T T Tor, an old French author who published a general history of the islands of Saint Christopher, uh, Gur, the Gur de Lofi, and the Mer Tinique, sloppy if I didn't say it right, in the year 1654 remarks, in the third section of the first chapter of the f fifth part of that work, that the Indians either on all or some of these islands okay so the, the the natives of the West Indies or the Caribbean Isles which that will make up the tribe of um, uh, the Tahino which will make up the tribe of um, Ephraim which is you, you so called Puerto Ricans uh, the Carib which is the tribe of Manasseh you so called Cubans alright and, and uh, the Arawak which that be Simeon, which is you so-called Dominicans, okay, all right, that they didn't eat swine, it says either on all or some of these islands, abstain from eating the flesh of swine, and also many kinds of fish, when it is re re recollected that the groups of the islands of which the three above mentioned formed a portion where the original inhabitants by the Caribs all right, which that'll be Manasseh, so-called Cubans, all right, and that they were people from the adjacent continent, which is South America, which uh, that'll be um, the upper part of South America, which that'll be uh, uh, where the tribe of um, Asher is, which is the Colombians to uh, Uruguay. So they weren't eating swine either. And by the tribes dwelling in the Vi Viconite of Ori Orinoco this fact will not appear so extraordinary so it said they abstain from eating swines and many kinds of fish okay all right Leviticus 18 and 9 I mean Leviticus uh, 11 and 9 it says these shall ye eat of all that is in the waters whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters and in the seas and in the rivers them shall ye eat and all that have no fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers and in all that move in the waters and of all living things which is in the waters they shall be an abomination unto you okay so if it if it's a, a fish okay that does not possess scales and fins it was not to be eaten so that that includes shell, uh, shellfish alright like shrimp crab lobster catfish alright eel shark cause some of you you Latinos now like you Puerto Ricans and stuff you be eating that shit man your forefathers weren't eating that madness so you ain't supposed to be eating that madness okay since they shall be an, even an abomination unto you ye shall not eat of their flesh but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters that shall be an abomination unto you okay that's right okay Deuteronomy chapter four, 14 verse 9 it says these ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever have not fins and scales ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you. Deuteronomy 14 and 3. Thou shalt not eat any abomin abominable thing. Okay. 
So the the tribes that were on that was in the islands of the West Indies or the Carib Caribbean Isles, when the Spaniards came there, they noticed that they wasn't eating swine one, and they was not eating uh certain types of fish because they knew that if it didn't possess fins and scales, they couldn't eat it. Okay. I'll finish it off with this. Okay. All right. So, you know, this is one to prove that our forefathers, that the Latinos and Native Americans of North, Central, and South America and the Caribbean Isles, that they are Israelites, all right, because they were keeping this these laws naturally, all right, which was given to the Israelites, which proves that they are the children of Israel because the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that they are, that we are the children of God. Because we do those things which are pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Okay? But your body, to to you jakes, because you can repent from eating eating all this madness. Okay? Alright? So I'm going to end it with that. Okay? That if you continue to do this, the Lord going to destroy you. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, he shall he shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. And what's that temple? It's your body. Okay? It's your body. Alright? So the Lord said if you if you destroy your your, your temple, he gonna destroy you. First Corinthians six and nineteen it says what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not of not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are the heavenly fathers. Okay, so don't don't defile yourself. Get that again. And law. Okay, don't defile yourself by eating these abominations. Okay. Alright. Leviticus 11 and 44. For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves in any manner of creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. For I am the Lord that bringeth you out of the land of Egypt. To be your God, ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts, and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, and of, the, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean. Okay? And between the beast that may be eaten, and the beast that may not be eaten. Okay? Okay, Leviticus 20 and 22. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell it therein spew you not out. And ye shall not walk in any ma in the manners of the nations which I cast out before you, for they commit all these things, and therefore I abhor them. But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit the land, and I will give it unto you to possess it a land that floweth with milk and honey I am the Lord your God which have separated you from other people ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean and between unclean fowls and clean and ye shall not make your souls abominable by beasts or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground which I have separated from you as unclean Ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye shall be mine. Okay. All right. So we have a responsibility. All right, and by the diets, okay, of the of the, the Native Americans. All right. The natives of North, Central, and South America and the Caribbean Isles, which are the ten tribes, 
all right which are the the lost ten tribes of Israel all right by their diet we could prove that they're Israelites okay all right so you Latinos and Native Americans you need to repent and come back to the Heavenly Father okay before he destroy you for eating these abominations okay so you need to change your diet and do your best to eat those things which are pleasing unto the Heavenly Father you know and that you're not so-called Latinos and Native Americans but that you are the children of God the children of Israel from your respectable tribe so you know hopefully this was edifying um and um you know and that's another cut on you simple ass niggas out there all right okay because the latinos and native americans ain't gooks all right or or derived from the chinese the chinese and the japanese and the koreans eat this madness those abominations we didn't okay all right so with that I want to say uh, all. I want to first and foremost give all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is who you only call Jesus Christ. All right, all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. All right, they gave me this information so I could use it to edify the Akim. All right, and sealing up the elect and to tear down all this falsehood by these false prophets out here. Is trying to uh, destroy the faith of 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 uh, of of the brothers, okay? And I want to say Yahweh Bashan Al Shabarak Thumb to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, this is the brother Atazawamia from GMS uh, South Carolina camp saying Shalom.